I've already lapped the receiver and selected the proper mandrel and turned the face of the receiver. The mandrel for the next step, which will be to straighten the threads on the front of the receiver. These are the bushings that hold the mandrel. For the tap that straighten the threads in the receiver. I'm not going to run the tap in, but just showing how it fits because I've already done the threads. And it aligns and straightens the threads in the receiver. They're different sizes collars to fit the different diameters in the receiver. You use the same mandrel that you use to straighten the front of the receiver that goes in. And I made a cutter up a few years ago that goes on the front of the mandrel. And you pull it back through and turn it on the bolt recesses and it straightens out the recess that the bolt rides on, the lugs of the bolt, that is. The next step is to put the trigger back in. and to lap the bolt lugs. And you use lapping compound. Putting it in the vise. And you check to see that you've got a nice mating between the bolt lug and the receiver ring in here. And you can even see that it's lapped in where the uh, bolt guide goes through the bolt lug. In that one and in that one, they're well mated now. Next operation is to install the lapping device for the bolt face. Installing the bolt and the receiver. Use some Prussian blue. A little too much of it there. Then put this in here. Check to see what the wipe looks like on the bolt face. And it's off just a little bit. Then I have to lap the front of the bolt to meet the lap. I've glued up the front of the lapping tool and I will insert it to see what sort of pattern we have on the face of the bolt from the bluing. Whether you can see it in this light or not, we've got a nice smear of the bluing on the bolt face. 